Toastmasters. How many of you have seen a panhandler in the last? Have you? Have you seen a panhandler in the last week? Have you given money to anybody in the last week? Have you given money to anybody ever? How do you make the decision on who gets the money? Quick suggestion. Okay. Do you want me to start again? Yes. Fellow Toastmasters, have you seen a panhandler in the last week? Have you given money to a panhandler in the last week? Have you given money to a panhandler ever? How do you decide who gets the money? My friend Terry and I were talking about that today. Terry is a little bit younger than me, and she's kind of a blue collar gal. She worked as a, she didn't graduate from high school. She uh, did go to beautician school. She had her own business. She has her own business now. Uh, she runs a cleaning business. She's also a fantabulous organizer. Suggestion. Um, Darren McCoy suggests that it was a great idea that you just suggest two things one visual, one emotion. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought it was three things. What's the third? Two visuals and an emotional. Mm -hmm. Two like points. hair color, something else, age. Yeah, two visual and emotional, or one visual and emotional. Yeah, profession, know. maybe. Visual and emotional. My friend Terry and I were talking about this today. Terry is a few years younger than me, jet black hair, and she's a blue collar gal who is very efficient with her money. She's not going to throw it away. We talked about panhandlers we'd seen. She said, you know, just last week, I was driving, I went past uh, Burger King. There's this old lady out in front. She's, it was one of those really, really hot days, and the woman's sitting there with this sign that says, Need money. I was going through the drive thru, and I just kept thinking about this old lady. Was she going to get something to eat? And I thought, I'm going to get her something. I'm going to get her something. So at least I know she'll have some money, or she'll have something to eat. And yes. Uh, maybe say what the old lady was wearing. She was wearing a red coat. She was wearing a great, a great tattered jacket. Something to that effect. Some description. Besides, she you just said that she's old. What would an old lady be wearing on a really hot day? The old homeless lady. Like I said, you know, if I say shorts. Tattered. Okay. <laughs> she's a crazy old lady if she's going to shawl on her that day. <laughs> Terry drove past this Burger King and she saw this old lady sitting in front of the Burger King. She had on this cotton dress that had a lot of stains on it. Was, some of the buttons were missing. She had a sign that said, I need money. Terry drove through when she thought about that lady sitting in the front and decided, I'm going to get her something to eat. Another suggestion, just sense it on the visual and emotional. Maybe she's all tattered and she looks sad, but a sad old lady sitting in front of her. Okay. Terry was driving past this Burger King, and she saw this old lady sitting in the front, and it was so hot, and the lady looked just exhausted and sad, and she was wearing a old cotton dress that had stains, and some of the buttons were missing. Terry felt really bad for her. She drove through and she thought, I'm going to get something for that lady. She ordered her a whopper and a bottle of cold water. She pulled up in front of the lady. She rolled down her window and she said, The old lady comes over and Terry says, I got this for you. And handed her the bag. The old lady went away and she said, Thank you, thank you, thank you. She opened it up. She pulled out the sandwich. Terry felt really good. She knew she should leave, but she kind of wanted to see the reaction. The lady took it out, opened up the sandwich, looked at Terry, and threw it at the car. <laughs> she picked up her sign and she said, I need money. <laughs> As Terry drove away, she noticed that the lady did open up a bottle of water and have a swig. The suggestion of that you could do is you could step out of the story in some places and directly connect to the audience. So as you're going through, it's not just you're in the story, you step out of the story, maybe 
when you go through and you see the old lady, you say, have you seen old ladies like that? You know, that's sort of what we're talking about. Oh, that's the sort of thing it was, something like that. And as you go through, you say, Some of, so wouldn't you feel nice? You just did something special. Wouldn't it feel great to do that? So you put the audience right in the seat. Yeah. Terry was driving along. She went past a Burger King. There was an old lady sitting in front. It was a really, really hot day, and this woman looked exhausted and fragile. She was wearing a cotton dress that had stains on it and buttons missing. She was holding up a little cardboard sign that said, I need money. Terry had been planning to stop for lunch, and she thought, well, maybe I'll pick up something for this lady. Probably you can understand how you might feel that way. So when she went through, she looked at the list, ordered her a Whopper and a big bottle of water. When she got through the drive through lane, she pulled up to the old lady, rolled down the window. She didn't quite know how to say this because it was charity. I, I don't know what you would say, but Terry said, I, I have something for you. The old lady suddenly looked delighted. She got up, she came over, and Terry gave her the bag. The old lady said, thank you. Went away, sat back down, opened it up, took out the sandwich, opened up the sandwich. This is a small suggestion. Before that, also talk about maybe build that moment up. So you build the audience up before you get the, when you get the head. Think about, uh, you know, Terry felt really good. Wouldn't you feel really good if you did that? There's this old lady. She's flying and she's starving. You just gave her all this money. She felt wonderful. And that's how Terry felt. So yeah, put her in the story. Make yeah, them feel that happy. happiness, that satisfaction. Because then that will make the, the, the true quick change that much more shocking. Terry ordered her the sandwich, big bottle of water, drove through. When she got to the end of the drive through, she rolled down her window and I don't know what you would say, but Terry said, I, I, I just said, I, I, I got something for you. And the lady looked astonished that somebody really cared about her, that somebody was doing something for her, that somebody had seen her sitting on this busy street on this hot day and had done something for her. As you can imagine, Terry's heart was grew three sizes that day. As the old lady came over, Terry handed her the bag of food and said, the old lady looked at her and just said, thank you. She walked away and Terry thought, no problem. The old lady opened up the sandwich.